PI Engineering's X-Keys devices emulate USB keyboard keystrokes, enabling control and navigation of many aspects of the MixPre and 8 series mixer recorders. You can program macros into a single button press for even more advanced and efficient control. To program an X-Keys device to control your 8 series or MixPre, download and install the latest version of MacroWorks 3.1 on a PC running Windows XP or higher. MacroWorks 3.1 is the software required to program your X-Keys device. Connect your X-Keys device to a USB port on the PC. If necessary, the PC will auto-install the required drivers. Open MacroWorks 3.1. Note that the application will not open unless you have the X-Keys device installed and connected to the PC. In MacroWorks, select Hardware Mode either in the Automatic dialog box or from the Mode menu. A graphic of the X-Keys device is displayed in the Applications Layout view. Decide which button you want to program and what function you want to program to that button. For this example, we will program the record function into button 1 of the X-Keys XK4 stick. The USB keyboard shortcut for record on the 8 series and mix pre series is Control R. For a full list of USB keyboard shortcuts, refer to the user guide for your mixer recorder. Double click the button you want to program. In this example, button 1. Check the automatic separation of up and down strokes checkbox. With the cursor flashing in the Press Macro Event column, press Control R, then hit Save to save the command. Select Files, Write to Device. This will store the command in the X Keys device memory. Pressing button 1 on the X Keys while connected to an 8 series or mix pre confirms the record shortcut has been mapped correctly. Macros allow for a chain of several button presses to be executed simultaneously. Let's program a macro to enable or disable noise assist on the 8 series on button 2. When programming a macro, double click the button you want to program. Make sure record is selected. To program the noise assist enable or disable macro, we will type escape F1, the down arrow seven consecutive times, enter, then enter. Each button on an X keys device can have two selectable functions via layers giving more programmable control. For this example, let's program the last button, button 4, to switch to layer 2. Then we will put the stop function on button 1 of layer 2. First, we will program button 4 to switch from layer 1 to layer 2. In layer 1, select button 4, then select the function tab, then show functions. Expand the layers option and double click device layer 2 red LED. Click Save. Now, select Layer 2 from the Layer drop-down box in the main window. We are going to program Button 4 on Layer 2 to switch back to Layer 1. Double-click Button 4 and select Device Layer 1 Green LED, then Save. Now, let's program the Stop function on Button 1 of Layer 2. The shortcut for this is Control s Follow the same steps as before when we mapped the record function. Save, then select Write to Device. When connected to an 8 series or mix pre, we can see that button 1 of layer 2 will stop both playback and recording. Thanks, and we'll see you next time for another Sound Devices tutorial.